kick Jack though. Go get busy. You'll be next out. You gotta dominate him. Keep that back straight and keep riding. Don't quit. Alright. Ready to dominate? Yes, Alright, come on. Suck it off! I'll take her there. Okay. Okay, you're up. Get up there now. Hurry, come on. Lift, ride, bud. Dominate him, dominate him. Dominate him. Keep riding. Keep riding. I wanted to be a professional cowboy from far as I can remember. Since I was a little bitty, I always wanted to hold that gold buckle in my hand. My name's Pecos Tatum and I'm 10 years old. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for all of our friends, family, and animals. God, thank you for this food. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I won seven saddles since I was seven to now I'm ten, and 38 buckles. And my mom, she got to be a world champion in the team roping and the head in, in 2008. That was really cool. And my dad rode bulls for 13 years. He didn't make it to the national finals ever. You wanted to hold that gold buckle, but you just don't always get to do that. Our entire family, both on Brett and I's side, have been rodeo cowboys. We were just created to be cowboys and cowgirls. Pecos, he chose the same road that we did, but I don't necessarily know that we honestly chose it ourselves. We uh, chose this area because we wanted to raise Pecos as a cowboy, and we really felt like it was still cool to be a cowboy in Texas. We were very blessed with lots of animals. We call it the funny farm around here. We have, I think, from 10 head of cattle to 35 head of cattle. And we can't forget Pecos's goats. He's got a goat herd that he started when he was a year old. It's a great place to hang our hats and raise our son. I've always been on a horse since far as I can remember, and I can't really remember the first time I ever did it. Oh, he got on a horse when he was uh, two weeks did, old. Yeah, the very <laughs> first time Pecos was on a horse, he was two weeks old. We took him to a high school rodeo. He couldn't even hold his own head. Yay, Pecos! We decided to homeschool Pecos halfway through first grade. Our theory was we always wanted to raise our own kid. We didn't want to leave him with anyone else. We just kind of always had that feeling about it. That's five, right? Five times what is 10? Five times two? Yeah. Oh, now I get We take a few steps out the door to the classroom, get class taken care of in about four hours, and then rope all afternoon. Every day about 3.30, 4, I practice and to make it better so I can be a world champion someday. You gotta want to go get it and have to go get it. And, and I really want to be one. Sometimes he worries me because he is so adult-like. Trying to pop this one out. Sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes that's a bad thing. We, you know, we can't really guide him in that direction because that's who he is. What make you believe? I don't really care. This weekend, he'll be going to the Texas High School Rodeo Association. We're through the halfway point of the season and Pecos, I think right now, is leading the all-around standings. 
there's not a lot of room for stubbing your toes because there's not a lot of the rodeos. And if your goal is to win every event, then every rodeo is important. Sometimes it's, it's hard being a cowboy. The harder it is, the funner I think it is. Rodeo is a very dangerous sport. Anything around animals is a dangerous sport. You just have no control over some of the things that they do. You got a lot of chances to get hurt, especially tie down. Step off and you might step wrong and you might tear your knee out. Steer run you over, kick you, step on you, throw you up in the air. I usually don't slow down to think about that. Drive your shoulder forward. There you go. What's over your shoulder? There you go. We tried to teach him, and we've always tried to teach him how to ride correctly and how to be in control of his animal because they're an animal. Try. Move your feet. We rodeo about every weekend. This weekend he gets on two steers, and uh, he uh, needed to just make sure he's in tune a little bit and make sure that he practices. You're stopping halfway through. Steer riding is the one I feel like I get butterflies in, but if you use it in the right way, you can make good out of it. So in the steer riding, Pecos, he has taken a little break. And it's been about two months since he's been on any steers. Ooh. Steer cow kicked me and then it kicked my ankle and rolled it in the dirt. To me, it looked like it broke his ankle the way it just stepped on it sideways like that. I got him some ice and he put it on there. He finished his events out that day. He had a little bit of black and blue in there, but it wasn't that bad of an injury. Okay, ready? Okay. Hey, look, slowly, all the way back over. Don't buck it slowly. And throw your body like this, and then you'll be facing that way. Yes, sir. Don't get off next to him, I'll kick you. Like they did that last time. Yes, exactly. You want to rope calves? Yeah. Okay then, you gotta get off your steers good. Oh. Drive up, don't lean. There you go. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Give me five. I don't care if you didn't land, you're still going that way. It don't matter, you see what I'm saying? I don't want your buckle because I... Uh, that's alright. My favorite event is tie down open. It's just because it's such a rush, and I always liked it since I was a little bitty. Go. Back him up. Square him up. Square him up. Move him over. I am a worry wart. I don't like to watch a lot of the things that happen first. I like Brett to go take him because I would make Pecos afraid. You ready to rub some, Pecos? Just about. Ooh. Your adrenaline's just going. That's the reason why my dad liked bull riding. His adrenaline went crazy, and that's how mine goes in the calf rope. Be strong, come on. Pick hard. There you go. Come on. We try to really practice at our house, just like we're going to rope at the rodeos or ride at the rodeos. Did it hurt? Yeah? That metal bar right there that sticks out when I went to string it? Yeah. 
because you didn't pull it and jerked yeah, away. Yeah, I, you hit on the dummy. I see. All right. You want to kiss it, make it feel there? <laughs> <laughs> and since your pony, okay? Yes, sir. When he was small, I think some people thought that we pushed him to do it, but he's pushed us. He's made us better at what we do because his want to of it, and he's he's gets us out there more. There's days that I'm pretty tired after work, and I'd, I'd like to maybe just relax one day, but then I know, I mean, Pecos is 10. He's only going to be at home eight more years. I better spend every second I can with him. Ride to position, okay, Pecos? Watch the feet when you leave here. Being a cowboy, it's, it's a must. It's not a maybe or a what if, it's a must. It's the best feeling ever to watch him do something that he hadn't been able to do before. When you actually see him do what you told him to do, it's like, oh, thank you, Jesus, you got this. This weekend, we're going up to Fort Worth to compete in some rodeos. Hopefully, and do some good there. Friday night, we're going to the Cowtown Coliseum in the Fort Worth Stockyards. Keeley and Pecos are entered in the breakaway roping, so he's gonna get to compete. I don't worry about Pecos. I know that he has been taught, he's been trained. Can't be afraid, because when you're afraid a lot, that's the time when it happens. Just grew up rodeo, and that's all I wanna be. We usually try to say a prayer before every time that we compete. We pray for our, ourselves and our animals. Your odds are very, very low when you get to the rodeo. You have an animal that you're on, an animal that you're trying to catch, or an animal you're trying to ride. Your odds are very slim. We don't expect Pecos to win every time he goes somewhere. He's just like everyone else. You just kind of feel like, dang it, I didn't get it done. I could have done it, but I just didn't do it. If you're blessed to have a great rodeo, great. If not, you have to learn how to rebound from it. The losing factor is what we call it. When you come home and you're not the champion, you want to work so much harder because he knows that's the only way that you're going to get better. This weekend's rodeo, if he wants to win in the year end, it's important. Today, the rodeo is for high school, junior high, and first to fifth grade is youth. And I'm being a youth. They don't compete at the state or national level, but they get to compete at the regional level against other kids, first through fifth grade. Pecos will ride steers. He'll team rope, he'll do some tie down rope and some breakaway rope. And He's in the top three in every standings, uh, and he's first in all around, so he needs to just go have a consistent rodeo and have lots of fun, and he should stay where he's at in the standings. Okay, you're up. Got pumped, don't you, huh? Sure. You better be a grizzly. No week, okay? When he's riding, I'm just numb. I think I just video and then wait for the score. Dominated, Precious, dominated! Hey, 
I think you won the first go. Um, made a good ride. Perfect sure. setup there. Just need to work on looking over your shoulder and getting off just a little bit better on this next one and Absolutely. dominate the next one. Next will be breakaway open. And then goat time. And then I'm done. Have fun. Push on those stirrups and be aggressive. Yeah, swing! Yeah! I like to make my mom and dad proud of me and just do good. Aubrey. With goat tying, you might stumble or your rope might go under your horse's chest and then they get all crazy and then like they flip over and just all kinds of things happen. You ready, Pegas? Yep. You? I just hope my foot doesn't stick. Come on up here. Give the next. Your adrenaline's going when you make a good run and there's a bunch of people there you're like, yeah, I made a good run. It gives me more of a drive to want to go get it harder, to want to go win more. Come on! Step out, step out. Yeah, perfect. You know, he really is a great cowboy. Not just because he's mine and Brett's child, he puts his heart into it. And if Pecos decided tomorrow that he didn't want to be a cowboy and he wanted to play basketball, we would be his number one fans. On the way home, he's already planning and going, are we going to get home in time where I can go out there and rope today? We're like, no, and tomorrow you're going to take the day off too. No, I can't. I need to get out there and practice. Rodeo is not a sport to me. It's a lifestyle. It evolved from real cowboys, as we call them. And I feel like we really need to be true to our roots and remember that it's something real special to be a cowboy. Best achievement ever is a gold buckle. Holding those gold buckles, not a lot of people have them. Hopefully someday I'd like to hold one of those gold buckles in my hand and call it my own. God sent me here to be a cowboy. And the first thing a lady told me, said, when you rode in the arena, you said, everybody's eyes were on you. And she said, half of them wanted you to win. The other half don't give a damn whether you win or not because of the color of your skin. But uh, I'll always want to win. I've been a professional cowboy since 1959. Dealing with racism back in the 50s and 60s, and now, it's still kind of hard. People would see me at a rodeo, and because I was of a different color, they thought I was uh, working for somebody. People want to know a lot of times, why did you want to be a calf roper? Well, I had seen a lot of black cowboys judged improperly. But in the calf roping, I knew that I wasn't gonna be judged by a human, I was gonna be judged by the clock. The clock was gonna determine whether I get any money or not. Right now, all I do is put on Cowboys of Color rodeos. Cowboys of Color features Indians, Blacks, Hispanics, and white cowboys also. Black cowboys in the history books is damn near forgotten. Very many people 
don't even realize that New Mexico was discovered by a black man. Chicago was founded by a black man. I don't care what color you are. These are the kind of things that we want young people to know. I have four boys. They are all professional cowboys. My granddaughter, Rachel Hearn, this was her first big rodeo. So it's a way of life for us. I'm 76 years old. That's pretty darn old for a cowboy. It's in my blood. I think the day that I lay down and can't breathe anymore, I'll still be looking for a rodeo. The horses really do help you with aggression. Once you're on a horse and you out, that's all your mind is on is having fun. My name is Shahir and I'm a concrete cowboy. I first got on a horse after I turned 10. I was young, so I was like, I like that horse. I thought it was cool. Horses have a temper just like us. Me and Shadow had to combine our tempers and work together because she used to walk while everybody else was running, buck, throw people off. And I used to always just get back on her, just to have the patience. When I ride, people actually give me like props and they actually be applauding me. The hood guys and everything, they be asking me, can I ride, you wanna trade? People like it. Well, the stable started about 10 years ago. It gave me something to do, something to keep the kids busy with, keep them occupied from running the street, getting in trouble. In Southwest Philadelphia, it's a lot of senseless killing, and I try to give kids something to get away from stuff like that. And when they start learning with the animals, they kind of calm down. And, because they teaching, they learning, and it helps them out a lot. Hey, hey, hey. Violence in this community is crazy. I done lost a brother, an uncle. I lost a lot of friends. But when I work with the horses, it's like a type of therapy. I can have fun and not worry about everything else that's going on around us. If I would have never met Malik and started riding horses, I probably would have been doing stuff that I wasn't supposed to be doing, getting in trouble. Once you get to running and having fun, it seems like all that is forgotten. 